Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the Spigen SGP diary case for the new iPad. This is a very unique iPad case on two levels. Number one, it's made from a single sheet of authentic leather, and number two, it uses a special foam jelly adhesive to secure the iPad to the case. It's available in two colors, black or brown, and it sells for $64.99. Let's crack open the diary case and see what it's all about. Inside the packaging, you get nothing but the case itself, and here it is. Now, as I mentioned, this is made from a single sheet of leather. As I kind of move it all around, you will notice no stitching, no seams, no grooves that like show pieces sewn together. This is essentially one giant piece of leather with like a suede interior that will protect your iPad. As far as securing the iPad into the case, there is no cradling system, no special mounts or anything like that. You have this special piece of foam jelly adhesive and that's what secures your iPad to the case. Um, it is cleanable. You can like remove dust and whatnot from it using scotch tape. And SGP says that it is semi-permanent. So you can remove your iPad from it, put this backing on and save it. This is what I've done. You've probably seen this material around in other cases or other designs as well. So I'm gonna peel this off and uh, insert my iPad in here. Essentially, the installation process goes like this. You lay your iPad onto this side of the case, and then you flap the uh, back piece over, making sure the iPad camera is all lined up, and then press down. And that's what keeps everything kind of straight. So the case itself features a magnetic clasp, as you can see right here. Um, very easy to close it and open it. It kind of finds its way together so you don't have to search for it. There is the front view of the case. The leather is absolutely gorgeous. Um, very shiny, very soft. It feels really nice in your hand. You see the Spigen logo embossed to the lower right hand portion of the case. As far as all the ports and controls go, it's kind of like a book or a portfolio in the traditional sense in that no access on the side, but you do have access on the bottom and the top. So you can still plug in your charger to get to the 30 pin connector and you have access to the headset jack, mic, and sleep awake, although really not that useful unless you open it. On the back side, you can see a smaller Spigen logo there in the lower right-hand corner, and then there is the perfectly sized cutout for the rear-facing camera. You undo the magnetic clasp. The uh, iPad does not function with the sleep awake uh, function of this case. It doesn't work with this case. There is no sleeper magnet, so you'll have to use either the home button or the sleep awake button on the top uh, corner to turn this on or off. It simply won't work. You can prop this up into a stand because essentially it's only stuck on half of your iPad. You can prop it up into a variety of different angles for both typing and uh, viewing media as well. Uh, again, it's only stuck to the top half of your iPad or the right side of the iPad, and that allows you to prop it up in a variety of different angles. When it's time to get going, close it back up and you're on your way. So this is a very sophisticated and sleek looking case. I think it's flat out gorgeous. May not be super functional in that it doesn't use the sleep awake function, but it remains really thin and you definitely don't have to worry about fraying of seams or loose threads because again, it's made from a single piece of leather. And again, it looks and smells amazing. So that has been a brief look at the Spigen SGP diary case for the new iPad. Again, made from one single sheet of authentic leather available in both black and brown for $64.99. I will put a link in the video description where you can learn more about this case. As always, should you have any questions about it, you know you can drop me a line. Otherwise, please have a great day. Please be sure to watch my two latest videos. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and of course, subscribe for more content.